Smile and learn. Today we're going to learn about bacteria. What are bacteria? Have you ever seen one? <laughs> I don't think you have, because they are microorganisms, so you'd need a microscope to see them. Would you like to learn everything about bacteria? Let's have a look. Bacteria are living beings. This means they carry out the vital functions of nutrition, interaction, and reproduction. They are unicellular organisms. This means they are made up of one single cell. They are prokaryotic cells, meaning they don't have a nucleus. Bacteria can live in any environment on the Earth, regardless of how extreme its conditions may be. They can live in volcanoes, for example, or in the depths of the oceans. Structure and Classification of Bacteria Bacteria are made up of the flagellum, the membrane cell which covers them, the ribosomes, the cytoplasm, and the nucleoid, which is genetic material consisting of DNA or RNA. There are several types of bacteria, which we classify in three groups. Bacilli bacteria. They are long, rod-shaped bacteria. Cocci bacteria. They are round-shaped, like a ball. Spirilla bacteria. They are spiral or S-shaped, like a spring. How do bacteria spread? Did you know that there are bacteria all over our body? Like in our intestines, for example, the mouth or the skin. Many of these bacteria help us to stay healthy. However, there are other bacteria that are pathogenic and cause diseases. Bacteria spread through water, air, or sneezing and coughing. This way they can pass from one human being to another. That's why it is recommended to sneeze or cough into our elbow. This way we prevent bacteria from ending up in our hands. They are also transmitted by touching objects or foods. That's why it is very important to maintain good hygiene habits, like washing our hands well or brushing our teeth. Antibiotics The bacteria that cause diseases are called pathogens. Our immune system or other bacteria in our body are in charge of protecting us against them. However, sometimes it is necessary to take medicines, like antibiotics. Misusing these medicines can cause the growth of resistant bacteria, against which there is no cure. Antibiotics can kill bacteria that are necessary to our body, like the intestinal flora bacteria. You can only take antibiotics if and when they are prescribed by a doctor. What do bacteria do? Bacteria can be harmful or cause diseases, like gastroenteritis, otitis, pneumonia, or tooth decay, for example. As we said before, there are also bacteria that help us to stay healthy. One example are the bacteria in our intestine, which produce nutrients to protect our organism. There are also bacteria used to make food like yogurt or cheese. This happens owing to a process called fermentation. Other bacteria are decomposers. That's why some foods rot. This is caused by the growth of microorganisms in them. However, some of these decomposers are found in the ground and produce the necessary nutrients for crops to grow. That was all about bacteria. Interesting, right? Did you like the video? We have so many more! Subscribe by clicking on the seal. Ah, and if you want to keep watching more videos, click on the boxes.